Shalom, family, all praises to Abba Yahya, three Yahushua HaMashiach, that we see another divine blessed day at his will. I'm going to be reading from the King James Scriptures, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. Now watch this clip, and we'll get back to the breakdown. And you have little black girls stop today using these chemical relaxers. Jenny started using relaxers at eight years old. 20 years later, she went to a fertility doctor to have a baby with her partner. That day, he had to do a biopsy because he saw something in my uterine lining. Three days later, I got a call. I'm 28 years old, and I was just diagnosed with uterine cancer. The lawsuit comes days after an almost 11-year study found a link between the use of chemical hair straightening products and uterine cancer. On Friday, we filed this case against L'Oreal and a number of defendants who knew, we allege and will prove, who knew that these chemicals were toxic, that they led to cancer, that they led to endocrine disorder. Jenny, who's one of six girls, can never have kids. September 2018, that's when I had a full and total hysterectomy. And at that time, at the age of 28, my dreams of becoming a mother were gone. Just like with talcum powder, we are begging, please, please, don't use these chemical relaxers. We don't want any more little girls to have their dreams ripped out of their hearts. So, envy thy not so oppressor and choose none of their ways. The precept for envy, the first one is Psalm 37 verse 1. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be Thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Evil doers. <laughs> Interesting. Evil doers. Let's see what the Bible says about that. Evil doers. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 4. Woo to a sinful nation, a people whose guilt is great, a brood of evil doers, children given to corruption. They have forsaken Yahweh, they have sprudden the Holy One of Israel and turned their backs on him. Also, when you go into the dictionary definition from the Oxford language, evildoers, a person who commits profoundly immoral and wicked deeds. Similar words in the Bible, dic uh, sorry, not the Bible dictionary, <laughs> sorry, the Oxford dictionary definition. Similar wrongdoers, criminal, offender, villain, black hat, male factor, reprobate, and sinner. Also in Psalms 37 verse 1. For when it talks about envious, fret not thyself because of evildoers, nor be thy envious against the workers of iniquity. Envious, let's see what it says in the Bible hub. Proverbs 24 verse 19 reads, fret not thyself because of evil men, nor be thou envious at the wicked. Then when you check out dictionary definition from Oxford languages, envious, feeling or showing envy. I am envious of their happiness. Similar words, jealousy, grudged, resentful, bitter. Malicious, malicious, sorry, spiteful, green with envy, green, green eyed, yeah, contentious also. 
second precept for the word envy from Psalms chapter 3, verse 31. So the second precept is Psalms 73, verse 3. And it reads, For I was envious of the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. As we've already done envious, let's break down the word foolish. In the Bible Hub, it gives you Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. We're in the King James. For my people is foolish, they have not known me, they are Scottish children and they have none understanding, they are wise to do evil but to do good they have no knowledge. Okay, jumping into dictionary definitions for Oxford languages for the word foolish. Lacking good sense of judgment, unwise, he was foolish enough to confide in her. Similar words. Wow, there's a lot here. Um, Stupid, silly, idiotic, half-witted, witless, brainless, mindless, thoughtless, imprudent, incautious, irresponsible, injudicious, indiscreet, unwise, unintelligent, unreasonable, ill-advised, ill-considered, rash, reckless, foolhardy, lunatic, absurd, senseless, pointless, non-sensual, insane, factuous, ridiculous, laughable, Dumb, dim, dim witted, dozy, damn fool, half baked, pea brained, wooden headed, thick headed, nutty, mad, crazy, dippy, dippy, cuckoo, screwy, wacky, barney, daft, dotty, groomless, dumbass, douche. Sense, sensible and and then it says opposite sensible and wise literally the list is all here see so I just read all out to you Shalom Proverbs chapter 3 verse 31 envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. The last precept for this one and the word is oppressor. Isaiah chapter 51 verse 13 reads, and forget us, Yahweh, thy maker, <clears throat> that have stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth and has feared continually every day because of the fear of the oppressor and if he were ready to destroy and where is the fear of the oppressor this right here basically states and forget us yaiwa remember in slavery They hanged us and whipped us so we can forget the name of Yahuwah, Yahushua HaMashiach, and our names that contained Yah within them, and beat us to take on the religion of Christianity and let go of everything of our heritage, our talk, our lifestyle, our dress, the way everything that we do, down to the food that we eat, right? They tried to wipe us off cut us off as a nation of people. Psalms 83 verse 4. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be 
no more in remembrance. So they went and put in a lot of hard work on Israel from the woman to the children to the men stripped us mentally, physically and spiritually ripped us off who we are so we can forget who we are as a nation of people as I've just read out to you from Psalms 83 verse 4 you can go and read it for yourself they put in exceeding amount of works over 400 years plus still going on still to this day to keep us from uniting and remembering who we are and connecting with our heavenly father Yahweh because they know who we are and us perming our hair is not helping it because why are we destroying the thick afro that the most High has blessed us with that no other nation has and we are his chosen nation of all nations of the world come on now seriously even the hot comb when you're putting it through your hair that's breaking your hair not just what you heard of what they found in her in her body but it also gives you fibroids fibroids look into what fibroids is and what it does to you why a lot of women get belly pain and stomach pain and they can't have children later on not just getting cancer but fibroids can also cause that too so we really need to start understanding learn none of their ways don't be jealous and look at them oh i want their hair oh i like those shoes oh i like that bag oh i like that makeup oh i like this and that no remember we walk by faith not by sight yeah so all of these things we really need to get back into scriptures into scriptures with our heavenly father repenting repenting truly from learning all these ways get off the christmas the halloween mother's day father's day birthday thanksgiving saint patrick's day black friday all of these pagan wickedness that comes from the other nations that neither our fathers knew so why are we running after these things when the most i tells us not to take up none of their ways and as you heard from eight years old and she's now 20 odd years old and look at what's happened to her all these years of putting them chemicals in her hair and a lot of our parents did it back in the day because they couldn't handle our hair i've got i went through i'm not i'm guilty of it but at the time i didn't know when i found out i stopped completely and i don't put them chemicals in my hair none of it Sisters out here in the truth that's still doing it or putting it in your children, stop it. Stop it. It is not of Yah. You are anything that is not of Yah is evil, as it just said, evil doers. Repent and come out of her ways and get back to her Heavenly Father full heartedly and stop going by all your desires, the carnal mind. Convert from the carnal mind onto the spiritual. Shalom.